the, you're not my friend. You shoved Don't a child. Don't ever say that to me. You're drunk. I'll beat you. Welcome to the internet, Karen. Get ready to roll your eyes so hard, they might just get stuck. Today, we're diving headfirst into the wild world of Karens and their unbelievable antics. From making little kids cry over to accusing innocent teens of harassment, these Karens sure know how to keep us entertained. Karen made the kids cry for watering the plants in the neighborhood. When their dad came to confront her, she tried to boss him around and ask for his info, but the dad didn't put up with her and shut her down. Karen, I need a name. Uplift it. You don't need a name. Need you a need answer. to get away. Need you need to go somewhere. If you don't know, you need to go somewhere, Karen. Hello? Out here making little girls cry for watering plants at a friend of ours house, and you're the new Karen. You need to go somewhere, Karen. Welcome to the internet, Karen. Welcome to the internet. Making little girls cry for watering flowers. Have all these little girls crying. Welcome to the right. neighborhood, Karen. Something just don't smell right with me. Well, you don't, don't smell right. You don't smell you right, can't Karen. Your control right now. You, you don't smell you right, Karen. You can't your control right now. Okay, Karen. See you later, Karen. Please do stay here. They're watering the plants like they're supposed to, Karen. Karen starts picking on these teens, accusing them of harassing her daughter. But the funny thing is, her daughter keeps saying they didn't do anything. But Karen won't listen and keeps yelling at the teens. And Mr. Little and everybody knows all your faces and what you do to my daughter and her friends. They have a lot of evidence. What do we do? What do we do? I do not even live here. going out to my daughter Oh, no! Yo! All? Call them now. I want you to see my face and know what you do to my daughter. What do we do? No one You're did. abusing my daughter. What? How? How? You, did I, hey, hey, hey. Ask, 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 ask her. her. She does. She tells me every day what these boys do to her. Do it. Uh, I don't know her. You don't live here. There's six of you, and you're going after me right now. Bro, I'm literally. Go away. Live here. Go away. But I've oh, hung out with her. Away. Remember at Roxbury? Hey, let's walk away. Yo, let's walk away. You're harassing me right now. No one's harassing me right now. You're walk away. These power tripping cops were harassing a lady, thinking she painted on the wall. They searched her bag, but found nothing. Instead of apologizing, they got annoyed at her. Look at my bag. You guys are just sitting here saying I'm Can you yeah. move it around for us. Do you see any no, paint? Like all covered up Do you by, see uh, any paint? Food. Do you see any paint? You guys just said I was painting on a wall and I haven't been painting on anything. I would say just said I'm leaving, I'm making a TikTok. So when I asked you that And I said you, said, you yes. no I didn't. You I said, I act, no, no, no you upset. didn't, no. I, there is a reason to get upset because you guys are saying I painted on that. There's no paint. I haven't been painting on anything. Okay. Do you mind if moving stuff on your bag so we can see? So we can just Take the f bag. Look at it. I don't have any paint. The f to lie for. I just said I haven't been painting on anything. You're giving me personal? Look? Yeah. Okay. Do you see any paint? Okay, you guys just said I was painting on the wall. Do you see any paint? You guys are up. No, you guys are up. Do you so see any paint? You cannot come back. Do you see any paint? Do you did you see any paint? Did you see any paint? Did you see any paint? Because you just said I painted on the wall. Did you see any paint? Did you see any paint? Devani? Did you see any paint? Did you see any paint? So there's no apology? There's no apology. I was you guys for what? We're asking. You guys just accused me of painting on the wall. You just like yes you did. Yes, you did, and I have it on camera. You just accused me of painting on the wall. You just accused me of painting on the wall. If you come back here, I don't give a. I don't give a. I don't give a. I don't give a badge number. All that. Accuse me of painting on a wall. Going on TikTok, y'all. The restaurant has a dress code, but somehow it only applies to black women wearing sandals. How convenient for them, right? What's the difference between those? Okay, I mean, I, I, I don't want to try to ruin everybody's reservation here. I mean, I, I'll, I'll tell them too, and I'll take them no, off. No, it's fine. No, it's we're not we're not even trying to make it a deal. I was yeah. just kind of confused because we were just finding somewhere else that we saw them walking, and, and we're like, wait, hold up. And I will talk to them too. Okay. 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 That's a little unfair. Yeah. What are you hearing about? Yeah. So I just want to let you guys know that sexy fish in Miami <laughs> <It's racist. laughs> is racist, okay?
<laughs> so if it was a medical condition, you know, something like you just had an Achilles surgery or something that you have, you can't have a heel, I, I can accommodate. But I, I think what we were getting to was just the principles of it because she didn't come in and tell you immediately that she had. You just found that out, right? You didn't even question. You only her. found that out I after we confronted her you, right? right. Now. Well, because somebody grabbed me because you grabbed somebody else. Exactly. I'm not sitting there looking at everybody's shoes. But you looked at ours and you said everyone is going to be looking today you know and why? taking photos. That's why. Like... Understand? My door person came to me and said, "Check out this dress code." Then she came back to me, showed me this person, said, "Check out this dress code." So that is so they didn't so check out our dress code but not theirs. She came back to me and said, "Check out their dress code." So I just like, walked in and I looked at. Uh, what's that? You said when she came back to you and said, told you to check out their dress code, you continued to let them go after you just told us. I just talked. Did I not just talk to no, them? No, I'm saying you talked to them after we complained. Because did you? When did you bring this to my attention? Just now, both at the same time, right? So I I'm had to talk to one person. I don't even want to go back and forth anymore right. because. Like really <laughs> Ladies, thank you. Have a great day. Yeah. The least you could do is apologize. It's actually really embarrassing. For I'm you. Sorry that you guys are embarrassed. Please no, I'm not embarrassed. Time. You should be embarrassed. I, I, I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. You will. This Karen thinks it's okay to leave her dog in the car on a scorching day because apparently dogs love to sweat it out. Is that you guys? Yeah. You know, it's like really dangerous to do to a dog. Did you open that car? No, someone else did, but I put water in there because the dog wasn't even like panting and someone else wanted to call the police because you guys been gone like 25 police, minutes yeah. and it's like 90 degrees outside. She's in the shade. I know, but it's, so hot. it's not the it's shade, hot, it's the hot, it's the, the heat. The like dogs that size will, like it's like three to there. five times okay, the, the you heat. you know, it's really weird to like just come and attack me. Like, just be chill, you guys. Like, this is my dog, and I've like, had her for eight years. I take really good care of my dog. And, like, I'm so, like we were coming back to check on her, you know? And well, you, so you take really customers good care of your dog? pointed it out, and they're the ones who opened your car, and they called the police. I don't know why they're not here yet. The police about that? Like, that's your dog probably would have died okay. if you didn't, Are you someone didn't really? open up. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry. It's really hot yeah. outside. We need to get her shaved. Obviously, like, I don't think shaving will, will save your You're dog. You're allowed to take your like dog that. everywhere around here, so you don't even need to leave her in the car. Okay. This Karen worker in the store wrongly blames a lady for using deodorant. But oh boy, he messed with the wrong customer. She gave him a lesson he won't soon forget. So we have you on video. Put in the the, that? Yes. You lying like a mother. Call your boss. Where's your manager? That is a spray kind. Look at the spray. And I'm spraying it, and you don't see me lifting up my armpits. I did not put that is spray. Look, that is a whole spray. Why would I put a stick of deodorant like next to my thigh? So you don't know what that is. So go watch that again and make sure that you see that that is a spray kind. You can spray that. So call me a lie and look at the cap. You're lying. You're lying. Let's go back and we're gonna watch the video. This, this is what I picked up. This is a spray, I took the cap off. So make sure you watch the video and look at the color because you just sat here and lied to my face. Literally, we watch it. Police. You can just Click leave. it again. What the f is soap? Okay, right there. What the f all those caps? What the f are all these caps? You need to lower your voice. No, because you just insulted the f me. No, I didn't. You owe me an apology. Now where's the other man then? Go get your other boss because you're delusional as Thank you. Remove yourself. Creep. You sat here and watched me pick up a spray bottle and told this man I used the stick. The pop is still on here. If somebody used it, it would have been rubbed. It's not. Don't ever disrespect me. Now go get your manager. Again. Don't ever. And I'm saying this okay. because you're in my uh, face. Go get your manager. Go get your manager. My manager is not Again. Here. Well, then you shouldn't be fucking approaching me about any no. of that. Did you need to call your manager okay, then. You need to leave now. Not at all. Call you your manager. You need to leave now. Call your manager because you just insulted the f me. Thank you. You need to leave. Dumbass. Now go get your manager. Six years old fucking slime. Go get him. Dummy. Go f on my face. You stupid racist piece of s. You assumed that I would do something so nasty because that's what the f you would do.
That's not now, cool. Karen and her partner got all worked up when someone started recording their drama in the store. Oh, how dare anyone try to document their masterclass in absurdity. You just need to be quiet. About Don't you take my picture, I'll call the police. You'll call here, the police? Dude. Yeah. So what? You can call the police for someone taking your picture, Karen? Yes, it's against the law. Oh, quickly, call them. Actually, in Lowe's, the Lowe's policy is you're allowed to take pictures. It's actually the Lowe's policy. Let's take your picture then. How about that? I want you to. So what do you want me to get out of? I'm just a little bit confused. Just get out of my space, That you have a bad attitude because I stepped over your cart in the way, bro? Maybe get a better attitude. Bye, Karen. Bye, Karen and Darren. Karen starts cussing at the kid, saying they're up to no good. When the dad approached her, she went off, listing accusations like she's the judge, jury, and executioner. Well, we have all kinds of problems around here. There's this is a private road. Supervision. This is a You're private road. Around, and you, we've been watching you with the brakes trying to dump the kids in the back. I'm not trying to dump the kids in the back. I'm coming down What do you here, think? No, you were on, on the stop, road. Stop, stop, Excuse me. Stop. Excuse me. You don't know what I'm doing. I'm coming down this road, okay? And it's, it's not the road. It's right here. We've been watching you lock them up. Again, because I'm coming down the road here, okay? And these brakes suck, so I'm coming down. <laughs> and I'm trying to slow down so I don't roll Excuse into me. the road. And they lock up. He knows. All right, well, then don't drive up here anymore, right? We are just very nervous about kids getting hurt. Yeah, I've had that issue for a long time. It's a long ride time. to Concord. Yeah. And nobody's up here. Except the dogs, and the dogs are going crazy. And if one of the kids is here, you know, it's a job weekend, how is everybody yeah. uh, They said use the F word. That's the only reason I was concerned. They, they need to respect everybody up here. And the lake and, and, and the people over here need to respect everyone up here as well. Yeah. We continue to have problems. Not with me. Uh, we're not exactly sure who does most of the stuff, but we continue to have problems. Oh, it's not on our end. No. I'm, I'm less tolerant as, as, as I've been in the past. As we are. Right. As we are. Right. But the bottom line is kids need to be safe because Concord is way too far. Right. This wild Karen strolls in after closing and starts a debate with a feisty Karen worker. Guess she's in a different time zone. Ten, ma'am. And you're screaming at me for what? I'm a customer, right? No, you're not. The store is closed. It's after 8.30. It's literally 8.34 right now. The store is closed. It closed at 8.30. Yeah, and I was in here, and I came back in to pay for items, and you're yelling okay, at me. Okay, then you go to the register and pay for it. But I have to go get go to my no, friend. No, you have to wait here for your friend. I have to? they should be in line. Okay. Because you're supposed to be at the register before 8.30. So you need to call him, have him come up What's here. your name, ma'am? My name is Angela. Okay. And the store manager knows that the You need to be six feet apart from me, hon. Okay. Do you know the social distancing? Well, you're not, you're not following our direction. I'll, I'll leave. But I honestly, you're gonna get fired. Oh yeah. You don't you talk. Know how many times people you don't, have said that you don't talk to people like this. You don't treat people like this. You know what I'm going through? No, you don't. Can somebody call a manager, please? She's screaming. Somebody <laughs> call a manager, please. Are you kidding me? Yes. No, I'm not kidding. You're the one screaming at me whenever. You're the one that will not follow the directions. Of I the literally. Manager. You told me I could come in here. You told me I could come no, in here. I told you you could meet your friend right here at the register to pay for his stuff. You, said you didn't say that. I literally went to go meet him, and then he, you started screaming at me. Not. Why are you screaming at me, hon? He, you Do you know how to treat people? Do you know customer service? Because I've been in it a long time, and I've never treated anybody like that. I lost my son's father four months ago, and you're treating me like this. You know what I'm going through, hon? No, you don't. I don't know what you, you don't know. And you don't give a shit. I know you let me in, and you said I, I could go. You said back. I could go meet my you friend. Said somebody was waiting at the register to pay for this. No, I said my friend is inside. I have to no, pay for you this. Did not. Yes, I you did, ma'am. Somebody was waiting at the register, and you had to go pay for this. Can those. you stop screaming at me, please? I need a manager. I'll, I'll leave. I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave because she. Oh, actually, I'll talk to my manager. Can you stop yelling at me, please? You've done nothing but yell at me since I've walked through those doors whenever you told me I could. No, that's not. I've had you on camera, hon. Good. Because we are closed after 8.30. Okay. You, you waiting in line that you need to I said inside. I have somebody waiting inside so I can get my son's food, hon. Can you stop? No, Seriously. You go to the line and wait for your friend. That's where you're supposed to go. Not wandering through the store. I wasn't even. I literally just walked in. I'm not even two feet away from the freaking entrance, ma'am. The registers are that way. <laughs> okay, well, I was walking straight to see him. I told you I was going to meet him, okay? I don't understand why you're treating me like this. 
somewhere else. Where's the manager? She's screaming at me since I've walked in. She let me in because my friend was in here and I went to go meet him. She's been screaming, I have it on video. This drunk Karen pushed an infant in the store and tried to hit the dad who called her out. When the cops arrested her, she acted all surprised about the consequences. Oh, are you still following me? Oh yeah, I'm waiting for the cops, you drunk fool. You f you, leave me alone. You shoved a baby. You, you shoved an infant. I did not. You did too. I got it all on video, you idiot. My wife's right there. You shoved an infant. Sorry, it's too bad. It's it's 12 o'clock noon on the dot, and you're drunk. You. Yeah, real classy piece of work. I bet your kids and grandkids are proud. Hey. Because you're obviously a f asshole. Yeah, and you're drunk. I don't care. You don't care. Oh. Some yeah. Yeah, you had to open your big fat mouth and shove a child. Prove it. Perfect. I got three witnesses. Good for you. And I'm going home. You're going home. You're going to the. You're going to the police station, my friend. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You shoved. And you're it. not my friend. You shoved Don't a child. Don't ever say that to me. You're drunk, and now you're trying to swing at me. You're drunk. I'm Sorry. Swing at you. Yeah, go ahead. Try again. You're drunk, and you shoved my child. You stupid. That's what's my business. I don't give a what you say. You're drunk at 12 o'clock noon, and you shoved an infant. Because he's got a problem. What did I do? You shoved an infant child in a carrier and then threatened to, er, and then tried to punch me on video. No. You, you son of a. I didn't do this. No, don't Let's take go. me down. Ow! Ow! The hotel worker did his best to fix the room issue and said sorry to Karen, but she just had to keep the drama going like a soap opera on repeat. The issue, I'm going to get to the bottom of this and resolve the issue for you and your family. I want you to be the happiest you can so you hear. You say you're going to see what I'm going to do. Yes. I'm leaving to go do that because I want your family to be happy. Okay, so then you don't have here. to act that strange with me when I'm asking you to leave this till you resolve it. And I'm saying again, I'm not acting strange with you. Once you said this wasn't yours and this garbage. I, I know, but I just wanted you to leave it here till you resolve it, right? And then take the garbage. So then I work for you is what I'm no, saying. You, I, I work for the hotel. You said this I is garbage you. and it's not yours. I know, but I'm there's a lot of garbage here, sir. If you take all the garbage, I'm gonna be okay with it. But if you're taking the can that was left in the room and the room was not cleaned properly, I want you to leave this can here and take it when you resolve the issue. This is a resolve issue, right? You said this was garbage and I'm taking out a resolve issue so right this now. Is, this is a resolve issue? This is how you resolve no, issue? This is like you I'm leave the garbage here. Resolve. You leave the garbage here when I check into the room. What garbage? This garbage. You, you, okay, I'm taking the garbage out. Yes, no, no, you don't take the garbage out just like that. You should have kept the room clean. My logic is that if this was left in my room, I don't know if the sheets are clean, I don't know if the towels were clean, or they just look spotless and they were not clean. And I'm going to resolve that issue for you. So why don't you just leave this here, resolve See, listen, it? I'm, I'm going to leave the can here. Okay. For one. For two, if you tell me that you need me to resolve something that I'm trying to, now you're stopping me from resolving the issue that... I don't think you need to take the can to resolve the issue. It's a start. This is a start. You said this was garbage and it wasn't yours, so I'm, t I'm removing it from... The, for the room, because you say it's not nobody in your family. And this is, this is your resolving going, the issue? No, it's the start. And I'm going to come back as a worker here and finish on the resolving the issue that's going to make your family happy. I'm not here. There's not an argument or debate. I'm here to make you guys happy. I'm here to resolve all the issues. You say your carpet was dirty. I mean, why? You say your sheets, you might not be dirty. I'm going to take care of all of that for you and your family. To make the so rest you, of your stay I have to make four phone calls and come down twice to the front desk in order to get an issue resolved of this garbage being there. And all you do to resolve the issue is pick up the garbage and just leave. Uh, well, so I, that, I mean, if I want to really report about this, I really cannot. Well, you, you can because I'm here. I'm not going to lie about you. Well, you you're here because can, I called. I, I only, excuse The me. fifth time. Excuse me, and I'll say it again. I came to work at 3 o'clock. I was not here this morning. I'm talking I, about the hotel. You work I, for the hotel, right? I'm, I'm talking right. about the hotel. This morning, I was not at work. I'm here now trying to resolve issue. I can't resolve a morning issue if I wasn't here this morning. 
I'm trying to make your family. So basically, when somebody checks into your hotel, uh, if they have an issue in the morning, they have to wait till no, 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 people no. check in like at work. No, they do not. That's why I apologize for whatever did. The old worker is just doing his job, checking if the guy's okay to work. But the crazy guy goes on a rampage and screams at him. Maybe he's rehearsing for a new anger management class. No, you're not. You are not. You're talking like I'm a goddamn child. I'm 25 and I'll beat you. I never said you was a child. Never I, I did 40 years of checking, motherfucker. I'm from the east side. Okay, that's good for you. No, 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 we're not doing that tonight. He just made a show. No, I quit. Have fun staying away. Because you don't ask now. All I said was if you need to. No, you said don't. Listen, there's a camera right here that heard it. All I said was if you cannot stand up, then you can go sit down. I'll beat you up, man. If you want to. Because guess what? I'm joking, but the cameras heard that too. I understand how this shit fucking works, Jason. I heard you go do this. Same shit with the goddamn speaker yesterday morning, bro. Same goddamn shit. Yesterday morning. Well, the morning before that, bro. I don't know. I work goddamn seven days a week. It all runs together. I just asked you to turn it down. I was making sure no, you you heard me. No, you, you didn't ask me. Thanks for watching our Karen Field adventure. If you had a laugh, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and tap here to watch more Karen videos.